In the world, according to Viktor Orban, Hungary is a fortress under siege, its defences threatened by refugees and the values of liberal democracy. One man represents both. The face of billionaire philanthropist and native Hungarian George Soros is the centrepiece of Orban's re-election campaign. The open borders Soros supports are everything Orban stands against. At the Soros-funded Open Society Foundations, promoting human rights, free expression and good governance, they're concerned about an expected tightening of anti-NGO laws after the election. By cracking down on civil society, what do you get? You basically, you get to a point where all diverging opinions, where all critical voices are silenced. That's a way to sort of like establish an authoritarian regime, and that's what's taking place now in Hungary. The Central European University is another Soros-funded institution facing difficulties. Last year, thousands gathered to protest against plans to shut down one of the few remaining outlets of free thought and discussion. Former Foreign Minister Peter Balash teaches at CEU and explains why he thinks the government wants these critical voices silenced. To stay on power forever, not to be challenged any time by any opposition, uh, forces to keep all the money they have accumulated, himself, his family, his close friends. On Hungary's southern border, a Cold War era watchtower is a reminder of decades of Soviet subjugation never to be repeated. Three years ago, Orban invoked the 16th century Ottoman invasion as thousands of refugees marched along this railway line into Hungary and Western Europe. In Viktor Orban's Hungary, history repeats itself. Centuries ago, Christian soldiers repelled the invading Muslim Ottoman hordes, just as modern-day saviour Orban himself has built a fence to keep the refugees out. In the same way, the overlords of Soviet Moscow have been replaced by pro-immigration, pro-democracy figures like George Soros and the bureaucrats of Brussels. And though Orban denies it, Jewish groups see another appeal to history in the vilification of Soros. This is really the cliché that, uh, that Jews are secretly working to undermine uh, the European uh, white and uh, Christian race. External threats and the enemy within. There's little talk of real problems like corruption, crumbling health care and education. Just the need for a strong leader like Viktor Orban. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Budapest.